Hello, my name is Ruth. This is Faye Halla Homestead and I went to the beach uh, a few weeks ago and uh, I had money to spend on fun things to do, uh, souvenirs, things like that. And um, I just want to say, <laughs> true to my nature, I spent it on plants. <laughs> so uh, I had to go to Walmart with my kids uh, because they had picked up some shells and I got some, I wanted to get some twine for them so that they could make uh, seashell necklaces. Uh, and, and they had bulbs for spring for sale. And I don't know what it is about being at the Outer Banks, but the bulbs were uh, ridiculously cheap compared to what the bulbs cost here at our Walmart. And maybe maybe in the Outer Banks, people aren't so concerned about planting bulbs. I don't know, I haven't ever seen tulips growing there before, but I'm not often there when tulips bloom, so. So I got a ton of bulbs and I'm so excited to show you some of the stuff that I got. Uh, I always look at the bulbs display at Walmart when it comes out because uh, it's just, you know, that's what I do. And, um, and I have never seen the varieties that they have this year uh, available. Uh, some of them, yes, but a lot of them, no. And I'm very excited to be able to get some new bulbs. Two years ago, uh, I had been planting for a while. I had the food forest up for a year. Uh, I had a vegetable garden. I had an herb garden. And in my mind, I was so black and white on if it's not useful for more than one purpose, why would I have this plant, right? And so I often looked at bulbs as being silly because why would you have bulbs? Tulips aren't good for anything, you know, other than just looking pretty. And so I would rather have something else that is uh, beautiful and medicinal or beautiful and edible or something like that uh, and then two years ago I started thinking well maybe I need to have flowers that are just for pollinators I could do that right and and if I could I would have it be a multi-purpose uh, plant and so if it was medicinal in a pollinator I would do that if it was edible in a pollinator I would do that uh, but there are some plants that I planted that are only for pollinator purposes and so that was a slippery slope for me and now I am just enraptured with everything uh, and it doesn't matter to me if there's a purpose um, I have over 250 different varieties of edible plants in my food forest that are perennial uh, and around my property I'm good. I don't need to have, well, I say I don't need to have more med more edible food uh, plants or medicinal herbs, but that's never going to be true. I'm always going to be wanting more and planting more and collecting more, but um, I am now at the stage where I want beauty as well, and so I'm going to be planting bulbs uh, galore this fall. Uh, I did plant some bulbs last year. Uh, and that was really my first time planting bulbs. Uh, and I just, I was so delighted with them this spring that, that I'm hooked. And, um, and I am not plant biased at all anymore. If it's just pretty, that's awesome. And it brings me joy. So, uh, first of all, I, I got hyacinth because, uh, I have never, I have never planted hyacinth uh, and this came in a variety that is uh, purple and white, and that's what I want to have in my garden outside my door. And so um, there are six bulbs in here. Uh, there are three purple and three white, so uh, I will plant these uh, right outside my door here. A lot of these I'm going to be planting outside my door. Um, the deer love to eat tulips and, and things like that, spring flowers, and so... Uh, most of the plants that I, the bulbs that I got, I'm going to be planting either right outside my front door where they don't normally come or inside the food forest or vegetable garden. Um, so then I also got these tulips right here. This is a black tulip. Uh, it's called Queen of the Night. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous with these dark, dark purple blooms. And since they are on the purple family, I'm going to be planting them outside my door here as well. Um, one of the things that I love about bulbs is that they they multiply on their own. And so you plant the sixth hyacinth, you know, 
and next year it's going to be uh, or the year after will be 12 hyacinth and the year after that you know it'll double again we'll have 24 and it'll just keep going um, and so I think bulbs are worth it if you're willing to wait uh, to have them multiply and waiting for me is not a big thing at all and I've said this many times many times but time is going to go by no matter what so why not plant something that's going to multiply these daffodils um this is golden ducat duquet i don't know anyway but they are like a double blooming daffodil and this is i mean this was 35 bulbs for ten dollars so that was a deal in my in my eyes but i want to put all of these along the edge of where my lavender garden is the lavender hill uh, in that wild area i'd love for that to just be daffodils uh, i planted daffodils there this spring and uh, i'm excited to have uh, more daffodils going in so i also got these daffodils which are they're like a white and an orange and it's called replete and again this is like a double triple bloom on here i don't know if you can see that but it's so beautiful and it was five bulbs for three dollars and um and i'm very excited I'm just very excited. A lot of these are cut flower varieties as well. So this daffodil and the tulips are cut flower. I planted these last year. I got two of these. I planted this last year in my food forest because you know you want to have alliums under your fruit trees. Um, but I realized that they're just so beautiful that I want to have them outside my door of my garden as well. So they are under all my fruit trees in the food forest and they will be uh, multiplying and, and dividing and I'll be spreading them out and I let the seeds go to seed. Um, but I want them here as well in my garden right outside my door because they are just breathtaking and I couldn't, couldn't say no. Okay, so I got another set. This is Tulips Mystic Van Ike. I don't know. Um, you can see it right here. Uh, but this is, this is again, it was $3 for five bulbs, which is, which is really, really cheap for, for where I am. Bulbs cost a lot more than this. Uh, I would be paying almost $10 for this. Um, I, I don't know why they're so expensive where I am, but they are. Um, uh, but I mean, just look at this beautiful, beautiful tulip. I mean, is that romantic or what? And since they're pink, they will be going in the food forest. Uh, but I just think that that's got to be the most romantic tulip I've ever seen. <laughs> Jeremy is rolling his eyes at me because... <laughs> so predictable. <laughs> if it's romantic, I want it. Okay, so this is a hyacinth mix as well. And so uh, since it has the pinks um, in here even the dark pink. I just think that is just stunning. Uh, this will be going in my food forest as well. Uh, I don't want anything but purples and yellows and whites uh, outside of my, my front door. And I got two of these because I just couldn't help myself. Uh, I just think that they are completely beautiful. This is a double early mix tulip and uh, this is a smaller variety than a lot of the tulips. They're, they're a little bit shorter, but look at how beautiful that is with the edges a little bit lighter and you get a nice real, real pretty mix in there. And so I got, I got two of those. Um, I'm very, very much looking forward to those. Those are gonna be just gorgeous when they come up. And then going with my, my purple and yellow theme, um, I got, some dutch irises uh, and i don't have any of those growing and again this is this is 50 bulbs for ten dollars which is unheard of for where i am um, and i love that the purple has the yellow in it as well and the yellow is in the white um, and it's just it's just breathtaking so i'm excited to have that pop up outside my door as well um, i'm just i just want to fill this garden right outside my door as much as possible with beauty um, because uh, this is this is really my only garden that I have just for beauty's sake and again I can't help myself so uh, 
uh, I am very much into permaculture and so this is my zone one. So I have things like tomatoes and peppers out here. I have things like basil, uh, oregano, thyme, uh, things that I'm going to use often in the gar or in the kitchen. I can just come out here and grab some and use it when I'm cooking. But a lot of these are also just for decoration. Um, the the border that I'm going to have is all going to be huckleberry and beautyberry, which are both very uh, edible. Um, my trees that I have are either medicinal or edible. I have a wild cherry and a chase tree. Uh, I have nankeen cherry bushes growing and um, and all sorts. There's a lot of edible stuff going on, but this is the first time that I've really let myself just plant uh, beauty for beauty's sake. And, and that is now spilling out into the other gardens as well. So I got another one of these because they're so romantic. And, and this tulip, look at this. I just think that has got to be the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen, right? And so I got, I got 30 bulbs in this and I'm going to put this all over the vegetable garden and the food forest. And I'm going to let those spread and I'm, I'm very excited uh, to have that. I mean, I just like, oh, it almost hurts my heart looking at it. It's so beautiful. And then I got two of these. Um, this is Purissima, I think. That's how you pronounce it, maybe. Uh, tulip, but that is, that is delicate and beautiful and gorgeous. And, and I am, I'm in love, I'm in love, I can't, I can't help it, they, they wooed me, and, and then, Gavoda, maybe, Gavoda Tulip, um, but this one is beautiful as well, and it was just so different with the red and the yellow, uh, I've got a lot of pinks, I've got a lot of purples, um, I didn't have really very many red, and so, Having that is, is gonna be a nice uh, contrast. And outside of my door is the only garden that I have like a color theme. Uh, in my other gardens, I just plant all the flowers, all the colors, all together. Uh, and it has turned into a very uh, English cottage looking garden with the flowers. Um, kind of a little bit sneakily because most of the flowers over there also have medicinal purposes or they're edible as well. So um, it looks like a cottage garden, but there's so much usefulness there, which I guess the old English cottage gardens, they were very, very medicinally based as well. And there was edibles in there as well and pollinator plants. Um, they planted those plants for a reason. So that, that makes sense. But not a lot of people look at an English country garden and they think, oh, you know, look at all the wonderful medicinals. They usually look at it and go, oh, that's just beautiful. I want to cut some for a bouquet. So let me show you my stash. So I have all these bulbs. There's hundreds of bulbs here and they're going to be all going into the ground. I can't wait to get them in. Uh, I can't wait to see them next spring. And this is just, this is so exciting for me. So today, obviously I'm tired, but I'm going to try to plant the bulbs uh, in the garden right outside my door right here. Um, get those in the ground at least. Uh, one thing at a time, right? If you can do one thing every day. I also think that maybe I'm going to be cutting some wood later with my husband, so um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. I like cutting wood. But let me get started on the bulbs. Okay, here's what I'm going to be planting outside my door. And what is this? We got 50, 60, 70, 80, 86 bulbs to plant in my little outdoor garden right here. So this year while I'm planting my bulbs, I have this really super handy dandy tool. Last year I did not have that this because uh, I didn't think I needed it because in my mind I'm like I'm not going to be planting bulbs right. So this is how cool this tool works. It's super easy. Let me show you. So all you do is you take this and you dig it 
into the ground and you pull it up and it carries all that dirt with it. You put the bulb in the bottom there and then this handle compresses and it opens up and you can drop all the dirt that you just pulled up right back into your hole and it's like you never even made a hole. So having the right tool for your job is such a big deal and it makes it go so quickly. Uh, I was able to finish all those bulbs in this garden. Uh, I still got a little bit of energy, so I'm going to see if I can maybe go cut some wood, get my husband to go with me. That would be fun. Um, and maybe we'll have a little campfire tonight in our, in our little oasis area. Uh, but that is planting bulbs. Those are the bulbs that I have ready to go for the other garden as well. And along that ridge line next to my, my lavender garden, uh, if you guys want to see what the lavender garden looks like, I have videos on that for sure. Thank you so much for sticking with me today. If you guys could hit the like button and the subscribe and also the notification bell, that would help out a lot. Have a wonderful day and stay blessed.